so I stopped into this beautiful little restaurant in downtown LA and I came to get something to eat because I'm hungry I had a couple showings this morning and so I come into this place and I am watching somebody make these lovely drinks right so pretty so anyways I'm watching the server come and pick up the drinks and before she was picking up the drink, she was touching the register, um, touching her earrings, hand, like scratching her head. So then she goes over to the drinks, puts a straw in the cup, and then puts her fingertip on the top of the straw, and it's like stirring the drinks around. Takes her fingertip off the straw, and then takes the drinks to the table. I'm not gonna eat here. I just got my coffee and left. I would rather come home and eat the food that I trust I know it's a lot of lettuce but I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I made some chicken and rice and broccoli for dinner last night. Throw that on top of my salad. <laughs> uh, brown rice, if that even matters, I don't even really know what's the difference between the white rice and the brown rice i guess like brown rice burns slower whatever i put this on everything Excuse my hands, they are ashy. I've been washing them over and over and over again. And I'm using some of this deep roasted sesame dressing. It's so good. I'm so hungry. I was so disappointed when I seen the lady do that at that restaurant. It's such a nice restaurant. I've eaten there before. The way my mind works, I'll never eat there again because I seen that. I seen that. She was talking to another server while she was doing that and the server didn't say anything so they must do that there <sighs> I'll never go back there I was just sitting at the right place at the right time to see that because I was sitting at the bar I wasn't even gonna sit there but something just was like you're just gonna go in I was by myself I'm like I'm just gonna go in sit down get some coffee 
get some something to eat real quick and be out. Something God had me sit there to show me. <laughs> it don't matter if it's a rundown place. It don't matter if it's a hole in the wall. It don't matter if it's upscale, expensive, cheap, whatever. God, show me. Do not judge a book by its cover. Mm -mm. I'll never go back. I will never go back. Anyways. I was showing a restaurant today. I have a client who wants to open a restaurant. So that's why I was in downtown LA. The place was nice. I think he's gonna love it. <clears throat> I came home. So recently, so we don't usually let Biggie stay outside of his crate while everybody's gone, especially if we're gone for a long period of time. Only cause He's still kind of a puppy. He still be tearing stuff up sometimes. Um, but recently we've been practicing, right? Just to see how he'll act if he's going to tear anything up again. Or if he knows, like, if I want to stay out of my crate, I can't tear shit up in here while they go. So he's been doing really well. Very well. We were gone. Or I was gone. For probably about six hours today and I didn't leave him in his crate I let him stay around the house and there's no chewed up plants thank god there's no paper or anything there's nothing messed up he did a really good job guys I'm really um, proud of him he's come a long way because please believe me I'm sure I have a video somewhere of him uh, after he had chewed up a whole tree. Mm. But he's doing really good. We're so proud of him. He's officially <laughs> a house guard dog. Because I'm like, man, how... Do I expect him to protect the house? And he's locked in the crate. Like, he's gonna be sitting in his crate and bark somebody up out of here. <laughs> like, ooh, if I was outside of this crate, I'd fuck you up. <laughs> no. So, he had to learn uh, how to be out of the crate while we're gone. He's doing really good. He was so happy to see me though when I got home. And you know, like I said, I was gone for about six hours. So he did pee a little bit on the floor. Thank goodness we have hardwood floors. But he did pee a little bit, like literally just it was like, pssst, and then that was it. And then <clears throat> I opened the back door and he ran outside and went to the bathroom. So he's doing better with that too. I guess, you know, when they're still puppies. Every time they get excited, they pee everywhere. So he's doing 
Biggie has come a long way, okay? He's doing real good. We're thinking about getting him a brother, another Kanye Corso. I think he'll do really good with that. You know, he's good around other dogs. He's not like trying to attack other dogs or jumping at other dogs when he sees them. You know, he's not growling or anything like that. He just kind of looks at them and is like, okay. Mm -hmm. It's always the smaller dogs that be sitting there barking like crazy. Every time they see him, they're like, wah, 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 wah. like our whole way down the street. And Biggie is just so unbothered. I'm just like, everybody always want to say something about my big old dog and how vicious he's going to be and crazy. But it's really them little damn chihuahuas and <laughs> those small dogs that are the crazy ones. Biggie ain't got time for none of that. I was so hungry, you guys. I've been working out lately. So I feel like I'm hungry all the time. Mm. I have to try to hurry up and eat as soon as I feel hungry. Because if not, whew, I'm going to give me a bag of chips. Probably Reese's Pieces. A Twix. Oh, you know what was my favorite Twix is the peanut butter Twix. I haven't seen them for a long time. I guess they've discontinued. But oh my gosh, those were so good. I'm a peanut butter girl though. I like chocolate and peanut butter. Let me let Big in. Mm-hmm. The salad is so good. I don't know if it's really good. I mean, I think it's really good or I'm just really hungry. But. Mm. Do you guys like um, Masego? Have you heard his new song? Well, I'm not exactly sure when it came out, but I think it was like the end of 2022. You never visit me. I love that song. I literally had it on repeat for like the past two days. <clears throat> I've been watching the video when I'm like, well, you know, I feel like I haven't watched music videos for so long. Like back in the day, oh my gosh, the BET music videos and MTV. VH1, all of that. But I feel like the past, I don't know, maybe like the past 10 years, music videos wasn't hitting like they used to hit. But they are now. They've made a comeback. I've been watching a lot of um, K Dot, Masego, mm, J. Cole their music videos but anyways my husband's calling so i have got to go i'll see you guys later i hope you guys have a safe and blessed day i'm gonna finish the salad and talk to my boo bye